everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me. This is week 92. Here to give you an update of what I've been up to and how things are going in my journey. Um, everything's okay. Another week has come and gone. The time is flying by so quickly. I just want to give you a little recap of how things are going. Um, I can't really complain. Everything's going okay. I'm still tracking with Weight Watchers. Um, I'm keeping active. I had a very active week. Uh, the weather's been super hot, but I've been Still taking advantage of getting a little bit of activity as much as I can, um, utilizing the trail uh, near where I live, and even though it's been very warm, I've been outside taking some walks. Um, I did Zumba, I've been doing my Jillian Michaels. Um, my eating has been okay, still tracking like I said, but um, I changed my tracking day to start on the weekend just as an experiment and to see because I usually it's kind of where I have my trouble spots. So to see if I can give myself, you know, a little more leeway on the weekend, you know, because Weight Watcher gives you a little bit of extra points to use. Um, which has left me a little bit more challenged during the week. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to stick with that. I'm just trying to find my footing and to see what works best for me. I think now heading into almost two years post-op, um, you kind of have to change your game plan a little bit. Um, I'm also trying new foods, trying new things to eat. Um, this week I started making myself spinach omelets for dinner. I use one egg, two egg whites, a ton of spinach, um, some fat-free feta cheese, and then um, some low-fat turkey ba uh, turkey sausage. I almost said turkey bacon. No, turkey sausage. It's a low-fat, high-protein dinner. It's very filling. Um, it's low in points. It's low in calories, low in fat. It's a it's a winner as far as you know a meal goes. Um, still drinking tons of water, um, but I can't say that it's. I'm expecting a huge change on the scale. I'm actually kind of thinking I'm staying off the scale this week um, simply because it's almost my time of the month and I just don't, I feel okay. So you know sometimes you have to judge by that. You just can't really listen to what the scale says all the time. Um, you do have to go with how you're feeling and I've been feeling pretty good so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna lose my footing. Um, and you know anymore this weight loss and the journey I know I've said it before, but really, I want to stress that it's an everyday recommitment. Um, I can't tell you that I spring out of bed every day and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so jazzed that it's 4:30 in the morning and I'm going to work out before work. You know, I can't really tell you that it's the most exciting part of my day. I mean, it's a great feeling once it's over, but I do have to keep pushing myself and. I do have my slip ups and I do have my moments where I'm like, why did I eat that? Um, today Rosemary in her video, or I don't know if it was her today's video, um, but recently, you know, she said that, you know, you can have a bite, just don't make it a meal. And that really stuck in my head because a lot of times all you just need is that taste. Have a taste of it and move on. And let's just say you have the meal, you know, in my old way, if I was trying to eat well and I fell off the track I would just say forget it I would blow the whole day I'd blow the whole week I guess now it comes to a point where you have to kind of go meal to meal you know if you don't have an okay meal you get back on track in the next one and I have to say I've actually been utilizing that um, because I'm not perfect no one's perfect we're not gonna have perfect days um, perfect weeks I do have days where you know consistently you know, I wouldn't have lost 174 pounds if I didn't have some consistency. But I do have my streaks where, you know, things are going great. And then something happens and you just fall off. I kind of just reset. I drink some water and I move on. And the next meal or the next, the rest of my day, I kind of just go to plan. Um, and I don't beat myself up the way I used to. I think that was really awful. The way I would kind of fall into like a self-sabotage where... You know, if I couldn't be by the book all the time, then forget it. And I've kind of changed my thinking because this is real life. I mean, this is forever. You know, I'm not tr planning on doing this till September when I hit my two years and being like, forget it. I mean, I'm still learning every day. I'm still trying to figure myself out after all this time, even if it's been so long, you know, because you just never stop growing and it's an adjustment. The mental, you know, fight is 
is huge, but I'm finally to the point where I feel like I'm getting comfortable in my own skin. You know, since it also since I've had the brachioplasty, you know, I feel a lot better, you know, with the appearance of my arms, of course, because that was huge for me. That was just a huge hindrance. So it's still an ongoing battle, learning experience, and yeah, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Um, that's basically it. That's all I have for today. Uh, my arms feel okay. I'm still keeping up with the scar treatment. I can't say I've been as diligent as I should be. That is my goal to get back on track and just, you know, like I was doing it every single day. It just gets so tedious, and I've said before, I hate it. But if it's going to help with the scars, I have to do it. I know better. So anyway, uh, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't believe I am. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great week. Have a great weekend. And uh, I will be back next week for another update. And that's it. Take care, everyone.